Hi everybody. So it's week two and what I've been doing this week was testing if I can use the rebalance board in my experiment and also testing some hard monitors to see which one of them is the best for my experiment. As you know, uh, I'm studying the impacts of virtual reality in our health, especially using the Oculus Rift and the HC Vive and some of the effects that I'm studying are post-round instability and heart rate. That's why I'm, I'm actually checking the rebalance board and heart rate monitors. So about this week, I decided to talk a bit the little difference that I found between Australia and Brazil while living here for more than one year now. So let's start. First, let's talk about the people here. When I first arrived here, I was expecting colder people because that's what we actually listen to Brazil. Something like, oh, well, don't expect them to be as friendly as the Brazilians are. But what I actually found here was plenty of friendly people. And because I live in a small town, they actually smile at you when crossing paths in the streets, which is kind of a very different feeling for me. We don't have this in my home city in Brazil. However, the Australians are well more reserved than the Brazilians. For example, while in Brazil we can make friends in a number of days, it takes months here to the Australians open their emotions to you, even if you see them every day. Uh, but I don't know how this translates to the academics world, because inside my lab, people are friendly and we actually collaborate with each other, but I had a bad experience once where I asked for some help to a guy and he thought I was trying to steal his research. Anyway, I can generalize that. Also about people uh, here, they are very, very active and I don't know if this is a matter of my city or if it's Australia in general but we can see people running, uh, going, going to hikes, surfing, and going to the gym a lot. And they use their natural place to do so, like this beach behind me. Uh, we can't see actually anybody running now because it's midday, but by the end of the afternoon, early evening, people run a lot here on the footpath. It's quite common. Speaking of natural place, Australia is world famous for them, and the Sunshine Coast has its amount. For example, despite the beach, where, like this one where I'm in today, uh, we have plenty of mountains and parks here as well. The main difference from Brazil is that people here embrace this place as their daily routine, often using them for exercise or leisure. Uh, for example, hiking and mountain climbing here are so popular that we can even spot babies with their parents on the mountains. In fact, hiking here is one of my favorite pastimes, and this is something that I never did in Brazil. Also, Australians love the beach and surf here, and it's really interesting to see that even young kids do it. In Brazil, although we have a huge coast, the surf culture is very, very, very small, and practically non-existent when compared to here. Uh, here, where I live, Every suburb has its own surf club, I mean every beach suburb, and even young kids can be trained to assist surf lifesavers. Surf is not the only training spot here. I'd say that rugby, football and cricket are also big, but there, there are not only these ones. Like, at least in uni, we can see people training other stuff like basketball, netball and athletics. But in Brazil, we practically talk only about soccer. Lastly, one thing that I was completely unaware about the Australians is how much they love coffee. If I turn around, behind me you see a little piece of the Mululaba Esplanade, which is the street that concentrates all the food stores here in Mululaba. And there I can count at least nine places that sell coffee. That is literally a coffee for every taste. Also, that means that 
I myself am here every now and then for grabbing a coffee as well. Uh, this will not also have plenty of stores that sells food, but unlike in Brazil, they close really early, like 6 p.m., sometimes 7 p.m. And that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed, and I see you next week. Bye.